Ooh, what old chaps, I'm Magical Mike, and this is Emma, the High Priestess in, well... Well, she was Emma, she was a High Priestess. Um, this is early on in the game, this is really early on, in fact it's before the first proper boss, and if you kill this NPC, which I highly advise against, then as some of you may know, you can trigger this cutscene, and uh trigger a rather late game boss very early on. Of course this is optional this early on and highly challenging and I highly recommend against doing it unless you know what you're doing. But uh, yeah this is this is going to be a fight against the dancer at a very low soul level 23 which I'll show you at the end. It's a pretty freaky cutscene honestly. It's a really cool boss as well, and um, with very low leveled weapons as well. I mean, this is right at the start of the game. This is before I've even killed... In fact, I might have already killed Vort, I don't know. But yeah, I promptly got wrecked by the dancer in that attempt, and in roughly... I don't know... I deleted 82 attempts before I got around to this, but I had a session of attempts before that, so... I'm guessing around 140 attempts on this boss, so many, many hours went into fighting this thing. And, uh, yeah, it's bloody hard. You see, my damage is super low. I'm using magic weapon because it's the only buff I have. And I'm doing 83 damage, but you see right there, I did 574. I, at one point, swapped to the Uchi Katana because the bleeds are actually really really useful in this fight otherwise I'd be doing 83 damage for the entire time or less because magic weapon runs out and that's a really long fight with not a lot of esters and it's it's hard so here's an attack that the dancer is fairly famous for obviously, the, the whole dancing thing. If you roll into the, the last... I did a bleed there as well, by the way, point that out. If you roll into that... the, the spin, and then do... Oh, I'm about to show you here. Roll there, roll there. There you go. It's fairly easy to avoid, actually. I'm kind of sad that I had to resort to using a shield in this fight, but honestly, it's it's too hard. It's so hard without a shield. And, yeah... I also had to swap to using a bow at some points because although I, I know these attacks well enough now to be able to get in there and do damage, it's also terrifying when you get down to the last third of health because one mistake will kill me. There's a few attacks where she sort of flings her body around, which confuse like this, perfect example. That there is really hard to dodge perfectly. She flings her body around and that makes it feel like you should dodge early, when in reality it's just a kind of bluff for the blades to hit you. And the way she actually uses her blades is that she'll hit with one and then follow up with the second. And if you dodge the first one, if you dodge the body intending to dodge that first blade, then you're likely to get hit by the second one. And it, but every time you take damage it's real bad because that puts you into danger territory again. And like I said, there's a few attacks that I know how to take advantage of. The leap that she does, the dancey spin thing that she does. Um, every time she slams down with both blades at once. And, well, this attack. I know how to do that. But she also follows that up sometimes, so it's not always a safe attack to take advantage of. My god, that was close. And the, uh, the two stabs that she does with the, the blades that bounce off your shield, that's a fairly easy attack to take advantage of, and that one. But if you get hit by that, then it will knock your guard away, and that's dangerous too, because you can get instantly one shot afterwards. So, I'm one-handing my katana, because two-handing it actually offered me less opportunities to bleed. So, one-handing actually does a better job in this instance, and it keeps me shield shield capable it keeps my shield available so i can quite safely 
attack and have that defense available to me as well. There's a few points in this fight where I actually stop moving because my hands are just so sweaty because this fight is just so so tense and I've been I had been trying this for about two to three hours previously I mean 140 attempts is it's quite a few quite a few attempts and you see this fight takes about five to seven minutes or so it's a hard fight and I have a lot of respect for the soul level one runners that do this although I'd still like to see this done with the uh, fists only at soul level one I guess Lobos is probably going to do that eventually, and uh, I look forward to that run. You see, I've barely made any progress on that health bar since she hit 50%, because as soon as, as soon as she gets out of the passive phase at the start of the fight, I mess up here by the way, ouch, if those steps weren't there, I'd probably be dead. I think I got saved by the... Uh, the hitboxes in this game there. Some nice dodges. I totally forgot what I Oh, right, yes. The first phase of the fight is so, so passive and you can get damage in a lot. And then the second phase where she goes aggressive and uses all these crazy attacks that are super hard to read and dodge, that's when it gets difficult. And that's when I started using a bow. I really, as I said, I didn't want to use a bow, but... Uh, saw opportunities to get damage in, and I was actually doing decent damage with the bow. Gal broken again there. Could have been killed. Luckily I wasn't. And here we go. Oh, you have no idea how happy I was. Like, me freaking out with the camera and my character here? Yeah, that's, that's me being fairly happy. And I didn't even know what to do with myself here, I'm just like freaking out. The reason I did this was to challenge myself first of all, to see if I could actually do it, and second of all, it's because this character wants, well, I want to use the dancer's blades on this character early on. So you see the name there might give you a, a good clue as to why or when I'll be using those. No, not when, just why. I mean, if you know anything about this guy, then there you go. So yes, level 23 with very, very low stats. A raw Uchi plus one and a uh, composite bow plus one, and that's it. Those that's that's my gear. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Magical Mike, and I will see you next time.